Hey guys, so um, I found this tag called the YouTuber tag, I believe it's called, and I thought I would do it for you guys. I have a little questions on here, <laughs> like my uh, green mustache on my Caption America iPod cover. Anyway, alright, um, I really liked these questions, I thought they were pretty cool, and um, I, I wouldn't mind asking some YouTubers these questions myself because I mean you get to see what they're doing but you don't really get to know why or you know the hows or you know the drive behind it so I figured this would be kinda cool so question one is why do you YouTube why are you here um, I think I talked a little bit about this in my YouTube journey video um, I think it was in my 200th video um, but I I do it because I'm passionate about it. I love editing. I love filming. <laughs> it's kind of fun. Sometimes it's not very fun when things just will not work. Um, but And I love the sharing. I love giving YouTubers feedback and I love getting feedback from YouTubers and viewers. It's just, it is, it's a sense of community that you just don't really get anywhere else except for maybe the Potter fandom, obviously. Um, but this is just another outlet for me to do something I love. And I don't know, I just, I mean, I don't, it's not that I think my life is extraordinary or, you know, any better than anyone else's, but I like sharing my life with you guys, you know? So that's why I YouTube. So question two is, what is your mission as a YouTuber? <laughs> um... When I started, I didn't have a mission. It was just, this looks like fun, why not do this? But I don't know, now, with how my channel's grown and where my videos have, the direction my videos have taken, I would say my mission is to keep Harry Potter alive. And I mean, with my daily, or with my other, every other day vlogs, that might seem lost in the translation, but it really is, I mean, the highest point of my channel is Potter Projects and Project Long Live, which is all about keeping Harry Potter alive. So I would say my mission as a YouTuber is to keep Harry Potter fans going and to keep them inspired to love Harry Potter and not to just let it fall away. All right, question three is, how is it being a YouTuber compared to being a YouTube watcher? It is very different, I will admit. Um, because, I mean, back when I used to just watch YouTube videos, just go on YouTube just to watch, it was just, I don't know, it was just all about, oh my goodness, this is entertaining, or this is funny, or blah, blah, blah. And now, I don't know, I look at it from a completely different perspective. Um, I look at it from, like, wow, where did they get that idea? And holy crap, this is some amazing writing, and the editing, and the music, and the lighting. Like, cause now that I make my own videos, I notice all those little things that you didn't notice when you were just a viewer. And, cause I mean, I have to do them myself. And I must admit, I much prefer being a YouTuber to just being a YouTube watcher. It's actually a lot more entertaining to be an actual, um, creative partner and not just a watcher. I mean, I still watch a lot of YouTube just purely for my own entertainment, but it's a lot more fun being a creator and getting all the feedback and not to boost my ego, but just to have that community, like I said. Question four is, as a YouTuber, as a YouTube watcher, what is your least favorite video to see in the field you're in, i.e. the category of YouTube you film in? Well, I kind of do vlogging and how-to, so I don't know. In vlogging, I haven't had much experience. I have, like, five vloggers I watch, and that's it. I don't really stray anywhere else. Um, but as in, in the how-to field, I can't believe I, I can't, one, I can't even believe I do how-to videos. That's crazy enough to me. But, and I know this is probably going to make some people mad. Makeup tutorials. I 
oh, that's like all Shayna watches is makeup tutorials and hair tutorials. And I don't know, I just, I don't know why they bug me if it's because they're so girly and I'm not. I don't know. But that to me just seems the kind I just stay as far away from as possible. That and incomplete tutorials. I was following this one channel. I won't say their name. But they would like upload videos like five videos almost every day and it'd be like how do you do this and how do you do this and like they would show you how to start but then like right near the end they'd cut off the video and just expect you to get to the last step on your own and that really bugged me because I hate when people are like okay do this and this bye bye it's just like but uh, uh, what now so I just I don't like uh how-to people that don't finish your how-to. Question five is, what is the most Im most discouraging thing you see as a YouTuber and someone trying to make it? Um, I hate to play this card because it's so just <sighs> so upplayed in the media right now. But cyberbullying, it is a bit ridiculous. I mean, people get on a video and they'll comment about how horrible your video is or how ugly you are or whatever. And it's like, you know, if you don't like my video, just go back. Go back to your search or X out of your internet browser. It's not that hard. I mean, I get that you're voicing your opinion, but I mean, you don't have to be so incredibly just demeaning about it. Um, I see that a lot, especially for people just starting out that I've watched their videos and they'll get really mean comments. And that's just really discouraging and they'll like stop. That just bugs me. I don't know. Question six is, are there any parts of YouTubing you don't like? Not really. I'm pretty content with YouTube. Um, Especially now that I can pick my own thumbnail. <laughs> Not just the choices, the three choices they give you. I can upload my own image and I really like that. Ever since they gave me the ability to do that, I've been incredibly happy on YouTube. So question seven is, what is your favorite kind of video to make? Um, I don't know. I really do like these question and answer videos. Um, but I think just the other, every other day vlogging just recording parts of my life is my favorite just because it's so much more comfortable and it just it's spontaneous and it's not rehearsed and I think it's just a more personal look into my life and I like that now I'm gonna break this to you guys and I don't want you to take it bad or anything or think that I hate Potter Projects, but Potter Projects can be very stressful at times to film. Not that I plan on stopping and doing them anytime soon um, or anything like that. I'm just putting it out there that sometimes Potter Projects can be very stressful to film and that's why they're not my favorite video to film. So question eight is, which videos are the most time consuming? <laughs> Potter Projects! I mean, I... Okay, like, I mean, if you sit down and you do the craft yourself, it takes a couple hours, you know, or however long, depending on the project. But for me, I mean, I have to get set up, get all my materials ready, do the first step, wait for that to finish, do the next step, wait for that to finish. I gotta film my intro, my outro. Yeah. Potter projects are definitely the most time consuming. But there again, Definitely not a turn off on making them. I still love to make them and share with you guys. Question nine is, if you had to pick one video for someone to watch if they came to your channel, which would it be? Wow, somehow when I was reading these questions, I missed that video or that question. That's a hard one. <sighs> it would be a really, really hard toss up between... The Project Long Live video and oh what Potter Project. Which one was a really good Potter Project? The Magic 8 Ball Potter Project. I felt that was 
something um, Harry Potter crafters haven't really done before. Um, so I felt I feel like that would be a good a good video for someone to stumble across on my channel. The last question is: As you stand now on YouTube, are you where you want to be, and do you have any regrets? Well, this is an amazing question to answer just because I can answer it this way. I never expected to be here where I am with over 400 viewers meeting people on YouTube and talking to them in my daily life through texting and everything and on Facebook and getting to know these people and then getting all your comments and your video responses and having you involved in my life. It, I never expected that. And it's just been incredible. I mean, I just, I started out making fan videos for Harry Potter and then doing uh, music covers. And, like, I tried to do a blog and that didn't turn out so well. Just delete those videos. And then I got into every other day vlogging. And from there, and then the Potter Projects. It's just kind of like snowballing and it's like, whoa, I did not expect to ever have this, what I have with you guys. And it's just amazing. Um, I really don't have any regrets. I really don't. I mean, well, going back and looking through old Potter projects, I mean, I can tell that my um, format is different than it used to be. I noticed that a couple days ago. But that doesn't even bother me either because my Potter projects it seems like they've evolved into a better format. So, yeah, I don't really have any regrets. So thanks guys for joining me for this YouTuber tag. If you guys want to do this, um, I'll try. I'll post the questions below so you can do them. And hey, hit me up with a video response or just upload it. Just to upload it because. You gotta get your voice out there. Thanks guys, I will see you later. Oh no, what did I do? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Whoops, my freaking eye bottom, so I'm not used to it. Totally wearing my Shea Carl shirt. I don't know if you can see it, but wearing my Shea Carl shirt. Since YouTube, YouTuber, you know, vlogging. Oh snap. I can't help it. I'm attached to the iPod now. <laughs>